The Bunny Museum. This is Candace. Thanks. Yeah. Open house from 3 to 6. We can go to our website and check out the directions. TheBunnyMuseum.com Stepping into the Frizee home is like stepping into a modern-day rabbit hole where all things are bunny. Candace Frizee and her husband Steve have built their lives around bunnies, collecting more than 23,000. That's right, 23,000 bunny items that take up every inch of space in their home. But it doesn't end there. Their bunny collection just keeps on multiplying. This is the first bunny that started the whole collection. This one my husband gave to me 14 years ago on Valentine's Day because we call each other Honey Bunny. And then I gave him this one at Easter. And then before you know it, we're giving each other a bunny every day as a love token. And up there is our Guinness record. We have the most bunnies in the world. It wasn't long before these Honey Bunnies opened their passage in the home as the first and only bunny museum in the world. For nine years, almost 13,000 visitors have hopped by to catch a glimpse of some infamous wascally wabbits. We have people from all over the world. People come from Nigeria, New Zealand, and Australia, and Canada, everywhere. The Frizees don't do it for attention. They don't do it for money. They say they do it because they're in love. This is a love story. Steve and I give each other a bunny every day as a love token. So what you're seeing is an expression of how much we love each other. The Bunny Museum is so popular, it's even listed as a must-see destination in Los Angeles. And the bunny everyone comes to see is... It's Elvis. Elvis... Not Presley. Elvis Parsley. It's a water pitcher. Comes out the guitar. His arm is the handle and he's the most popular piece in the whole museum. No matter what part of the world tourists hail from, Frizee says there's always one question on people's minds. The number one question we get is, how do you dust? Well, we dust something every day. We don't do everything every day, which is absolutely impossible. The people come here and they'll find some dust. And I say, oh, we don't mind dust at the, the Bunny Museum. We love dust bunnies. Of course, no Bunny Museum is complete without some real life cottontail friends. Make no doubt about it, one day these bunnies will enter the collection. The couple freeze-dry their first four bunnies, which are on display. This may seem a bit hairy, but to the Frizzies, they're simply preserving a bunch of happy memories. It's a very unique collection that tells our love story, the little places we've been and things we've done. To the adoring couple, the museum is a symbol of their love that they hope people passing through will take home with them, along with a bit of bunny on the brain. Have a happy day!